Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and in today's video I'm going to be continuing the Aristocats Limited Time Event and Disney Magic Kingdoms game. So I'm starting off here by welcoming Marie. Uh, she was a little bit trickier to collect than I expected, but uh, the drops were not absolutely horrible, just a lot of tokens needed and uh, yeah, just a lot of time. So that was her welcome screen and then we get dialogue here with Thomas O'Malley. To lose, you go with Fru Fru and meet back up with your mother. Berlioz, you swap in wherever needs swapping in. And as for you, Marie? Yes, Mr. O'Malley? Well, you better warm up that golden throat of yours, kiddo. Because you're first on the bill. Quest complete. Welcome a singing cat. I am. I mean... Of course I am. First on the bill. Oh, that sounds very important. I'd better make sure my bow is on straight. I don't want it to get in my way when I'm in the middle of my solo. Which is also why I'm not wearing Madame's pretty boa today. It compliments my eyes, but it always makes me sneeze. Costume check. Send Marie to prepare for her performance. So that quest is eight hours. And I hope everybody enjoys the video today. If you guys do, make sure you guys give it a big Mickey thumbs up to show love and support to the channel. So here I went ahead and now leveled her up to a level two. So I just needed five uh, common tokens and then one of the bows, ears, hats, and 800 currency. And uh, that pretty much gets done here in a second. However, we do have a little bit of dialogue from Marie from the quest before I get to actually level her up because that eight hour quest she went out on before I went ahead and leveled her up. So it's I needed the, to send all my characters out for the four hours. So um, I didn't have any extra before that. So I definitely recommend if you guys are still working on Marie. And you should always just kind of like practice this every single time you go to uh, do a first quest with a character, whether it's a limited time event or not. Just always check to make sure that your character doesn't have to go and be leveled up first. Especially if it's like a time sensitive thing. In this case, it's the kind of like even more important. But it's like you really, you really just checking to make sure the character doesn't get leveled up so it doesn't stop or like hinder your progress, right? With, the, with an event like this super important to just keep the flow going so let's uh, do the dialogue here Whew. well if my bow doesn't want to stay on straight which I guess it doesn't then at least I made sure it only falls down gracefully quest complete costume check that way everyone will know I'm letting it happen on purpose Okay, now here we have to lose. Thanks for helping me out with my new plan, Mama. Do you think we're going to find enough volunteers in time? You must have faith to lose. If there is anything I have learned from our recent travels, it is that everyone has at least a little music in their heart. And darling, cats are certainly no exception to the rule. Calling all cats. So this is an event quest. Send Duchess and Toulouse to recruit by O'Malley's. So here I went ahead and leveled up Marie now. So uh, yeah, again, I had to wait till after the quest and then was able to do it right away. So here she is. I love her little welcome screen. It's so cute. I think, I think it's my favorite so far in the event. Me first. Me first. Recruit volunteers is six hours. So that is with Toulouse and Duchess. Now, important note, you guys will see this a little later on here, but Duchess does need to be a level six. So make sure that um, you kind of get prepared to do that and keep enough common tokens around to do that because in a couple of quests from now, you will have to have her there um, in order to actually go ahead and do it and, and continue with the event. So Duchess, it's very important that you uh, that you get her to a six or you will be kind of just stopped. So it will be coming up here in a bit. 
So six hours, and this is uh, kind of my progress with her. She's been, like, sitting there for ages and ages and ages. However, I didn't level her up right away. Um, I ended up doing some additional quests, but just showing you guys what she needs in order to level up. The reason why I have more tokens, though, and I'm still collecting for her, um, not the common token that's, like, you know, doesn't apply to this, but her two specific tokens is because the attractions are collecting them. So this does make things very useful. So she's actually already collecting for uh to be a seven so that uh will be very useful not necessarily for the event though at this point i probably won't have enough common tokens to do that but uh it'll be something post event and also if you don't want any conflicts with drops with thomas then again like it's a really kind of good thing to just sort of have kind of continuing on well that is all the recruitment we can do before the show and we've done very well. Toulouse, darling, you are quite the persuasive kitten, you know. Thanks, Mama. I think it's from arguing with Marie and Berlioz all the time. It's really good practice. Oh, dear. Well, that is a discussion for another time. For now, I am happy you have something to be proud of. Quest complete. Calling all cats. Let's return to the mansion, shall we? Thomas will be making his introduction soon. So here he is making his introductions at the battlegrounds. And then we get this dialogue here. Good evening, all you beautiful cats. Welcome to the first annual benefit gala for a home for all the alley cats in Paris. Well, I say benefit gala. And I know some of you were looking forward to something real formal. We want Scat Cat! <laughs> yeah, that too. Well, our one-time headliner sends his apologies and his best wishes for a swinging good time. And that got us thinking. What's better than a stuffy old gala? A dance party, that's what. Hit it, band! All right, so here we have it. Swing it! So we get to participate with the battleground. So we can use all of our current kittens, and this is a couple of them here, um, you know, having a good time. Thomas O'Malley's having a blast dancing away. Um, now, I didn't get a clip here of of Toulouse. Berlioz I don't have yet, so Toulouse is really the one that I kind of missed out on there uh, to show you guys, but there'll be another opportunity in, a, in another quest, but it's really, really cute, so keep an eye for that one. Oh, Thomas, it's working! With you leading the dance and the rest of us performing, everyone is joining in. Ha, <laughs> I knew that would, honey. It's just like we talked about. This is a party for all the alley cats of Paris. You play him a few tunes, they'll be happy enough. But invite him to take the stage, and boy, will they take it. Just make sure you and the kittens take a breather to help scare up new guests every so often. The more the merrier, right? Quest complete. Swing it. Of course, darling. Of course. Thank you for helping me spread the word about the party. It's nice that we've gotten to take so many walks together today. You're welcome, Mama. And it's been fun. Also, I need a break. post fovis speed painting is tiring. Well, I think your latest work borrows a little more from Cubism. I'm sure it takes just as much exertion. Cubism? Uh, yeah, I mean, there, uh, there's an art that's just about boxes? Huh. I just thought I liked boxes. <laughs> well, that's fine, too. We are cats, after all. Maybe we will meet a kindred spirit for you to paint with here. Okay, for the art of it all, send Duchess and Toulouse back to O'Malley's pad. So they need a little break. So this is the quest here that I was talking about that you need Duchess to be a six. So it's called Find Guests and Performers. 
So that is where I went ahead and leveled her up. I will be bringing her back when we head into my actual kingdom. I decided to level up uh, Marie as well. I should have leveled her up first, but I ended up using a scroll. No big deal. I have a whole bunch of them, so it's fine. But um, yeah, she needed to be leveled up as well. The only issue is, is it's going to take all of my common tokens. And when all of my common tokens disappear, it really stops progress. I used a lot of them, and I'm really kind of sad that I don't have more. It's it's really a big, big bummer. It really is. Okay, so there's Berlioz. I still haven't got him yet. I feel so bad. I really do. So we need the goose. One goose, two goose. We need as many as we can possibly get our little paws on here. Um, okay, so pretty much I haven't done this quest because I've been waiting to bring her back. So here is Duchess back in the kingdom. Looking as elegant as always. And she is now a level six. C'est magnifique. Turning red is back now in Legendary Chest. So if you guys are wanting to do that secondary storyline, you can go ahead and grab some of the great items that are inside of the chest. You will not see, however, any characters in mine or attractions, but you will see concessions and decorations because I already have everything. So just a little side thing there. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and send them out on that quest. That quest is two hours, actually. So this one will not be done um, today in this video. So this will be for the next one. So they've gone back to O'Malley's pad. Uh, this here should lead me into a video hopefully for Sunday. So just kind of finishing that off. Now the thing is, is that will also take us to um, welcoming Thomas O'Malley. So pretty much in a day and a half we have him coming to the kingdom so i will be posting a video on yeah i'll do it on sunday and it will be kind of the leading up to unlocking him and then collecting for him so hopefully maybe i'll have a token or two um and then we'll kind of be in our final stretch here for the event especially because there is only six days 19 hours left and there's yeah it's gonna be a lot less than that though and <laughs> when he actually shows up. So it's uh, it's gonna be tricky. All right, so let's bring Marie back. Gosh, she's so cute. Aww. Hi, pretty kitty. <laughs> oh, how wonderful. All right, let's also bring back Charles Muntz. Not the nicest guy in the world. And he is a level seven. Can't wait to hear how this story ends. Yep. And that gives me some more gems. So that is something that I have been really, really working on is uh, making sure I have enough gems here to get Berlioz. So the thing is, is I should be good actually with, uh, with all of that. The thing is, though, is I do need... A couple of extra things here. Um, one of them is going to be for my season pass. So I will be able to get him, I think, like in a couple of days, hopefully. Because you can see the 100 gems there. And that's all I need to welcome him into my kingdom. So realistically, I need like a 1,000 happiness right now or about. Um, so one, so two, three, four, five five, six, seven, eight. So like realistically, if I do like half or a little bit more than half of my dailies, I should be fine. Um, and then that way I can also get some additional happiness here, which will help boost my level. So I don't think the 30 quests will, that will be like done later, but um, that'll be okay. That'll be okay. Things things are, are working out in, in their own time. But again, even if I do my dailies and stuff like that, I still need to do a little bit here um, of that. But let's go ahead and claim all of my rewards that I haven't claimed yet. Now, part of the reason for that was the decoration chest. Just because if it was going to be a weekly, which it did turn out to be one, I knew I was going to need a bunch of them. Oh, the peppermint lollipop stand. 
Oh, it's so Christmassy. Oh, that's awesome. So yeah, having the decoration chest here, it's uh, going to be very, very useful for my weeklies. That's why I hold on to them. And it, it maybe seems a bit silly to some people, but if you don't have enough around your kingdom and you're not going to spend gems to open it, you can't always like be guaranteed to, to get what you need there. So the starfish hairband stance, that's from the Little Mermaid collection. Cute. I have one of those already, but I haven't seen that one pop back up in a while. All right, so that is all of my rewards there. Okay, you know what? I'm going to send Eve out. Uh, I think it's best that I send her out. So she's got happiness. I don't like when characters that are working with the event have happiness stuff. Um, it's really kind of brutal, but I do realize that uh, there are a lot of them for sure. But it's just one of those things when they're going for happiness. It's crazy, um, especially when you need them to collect tokens and stuff like that. Now, the worst ones I've had, and I had them actually on the same day, but... Um, having Duchess and Toulouse on the same day for happiness. I was like, why? Like, I don't even think they should be an option during an event. Like, post-event, I don't care. But during an event, it's like, what? That's crazy. It's a little crazy talk. Um, okay, so 55 two-hour quest. I should be able to hopefully get that one done uh, today, honestly. It should be really, really easy. I know some of my characters are on longer ones, but um, if not tomorrow morning, morning like at the latest 15 character wishes uh that is probably gonna be like i'm gonna say tomorrow by the end of tomorrow it should be done uh 25 character wishes though that's gonna be a problem that's already really tough as it is so i am gonna collect more happiness than i need um so basically it's just gonna be a constant roll in terms of parade floats that should be easy it's just like two a day so this is already gonna take me two days at least to be able to do the eight hour quests uh shouldn't be an issue but the thing is is it's just like everybody's kind of got different things going on this week just because of the event so getting 55 it's not like it's super hard but um it is going to be a little bit more challenging because some characters, as I said, like, you know, have other priorities to do. And with the character limit, it's kind of brutal. Um, Beauty and the Beast, Zootopia, and Cinderella. Cinderella should be easy. Uh, Beauty and the Beast and Zootopia. I might be able to get a couple of characters from that. 100 activities of six hours or more. That's probably just as brutal as the eight hour one. It's not, again, super hard, but some characters are collecting for certain things. So I'll have to delegate certain ones to, to do what they need to do. And 18 chests in the park should be fine as long as, you know, I'm checking my game and everything. And the parade floats, again, Cinderella. I think the other one was Cinderella too. So essentially, I just need one Cinderella parade float out and just be sending two a day, you know, to be able to get that quest done. So it's just really time in order for me to get those additional 100 gems. And then I will have what I need. There are less gems in this season pass though. And I wish they'd go back to what they had. And I guess in like season one and two, they had way more gems. And it really made it more worth it. There's just so much garbage rewards. Like, 2,000 like magic, 1,000, like 1,250 magic. It's just like, what the heck are these rewards? Like the it, magic, like in that amount is nothing. It's nothing. And it's just like, everybody's got an abundance now of magic. I know newer players won't. Um, I realize that is an issue, but like it, realistically, there there's a limit on what you can spend, right? This isn't, this is just not something that I think they should be just tossing out because they're doing that. And then they're also doing it in the dailies, like just for your calendar reward. Like I am sorry, but 500 magic, it should, that should be illegal. Like it should make a law about this. <laughs> like It's just, it's just like, uh, again, new players. It's like, yeah, I got a little extra magic, but this is, this is dumb. This isn't even, a, this isn't even a lot of magic. You know, it's just, it's ridiculous. They And they do need to have a conversion system so we can change like, you know, a million magic into like a hundred gems or something like that because it's crazy how much extra magic people have. And I know my mom is like double what I have and I'm sure people who have been playing longer than us have even more than that. Let me know in the comment section below how much magic you have right now um, in your kingdom. And also let me know about your event currency as well. I've got like, I'm on my way to 20,000 probably by the time I... I go ahead and collect from all my characters and stuff like that. I should be 
um, you know, getting pretty close, but it's just like, yeah, it's just ridiculous. This is ridiculous. And gems are the one thing that we kind of constantly need. Um, and yeah, there's just like, there's just no way to actually get it. I guess there's, oh yeah, no, there's still more characters. I was like, wait, there's not enough characters to collect from. There's loads. They just keep wanting me to do the parade float, but I'm hesitating doing it because I want to watch the ad reward, but I don't want to cut it out of my video. <laughs> Call it like lazy editing, but I just even recording that, I'm like, I just don't, I just, uh, it'll ruin my flow of, of my video. And it's just like, nah, I'm good. I'm really, really good. Um, in terms of leveling other characters up, I've been really hesitant to do so. However, I feel like if he's available, 22, um, she can go out and actually level up because I have 175 of her ears hats. Now, I, I realize that one of her tokens, like, there I am going to be probably collecting for because there's only 19. So, like, I... I realize that, but since it's, I think it's common. Ooh, I don't know offhand. I really don't know offhand, but I think so. So realistically, like, it's just kind of one of those things where I'm like, I just don't think it'll be super hard if I needed to use elixirs if there's a conflict, but um, I already have a bunch of them. So maybe I can check actually at Merlin's. Oh, let's go ahead and use the gathering spell first. Do, 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 do. Magic. I wonder what we're getting for our next update. I really, really want something Halloween related. I really, really do. I was trying to tap Merlin there. Okay, so let's go to the shop and see here. Um, I feel like it's common, but it could be uncommon. Uh, no, it's, it's, it's common. It's common. It's 150 though. Um, but yeah, it's, it's common. So that makes the drops like very easy. So anybody who collects for 22 for the maple seed, it should be, should be fine. Um, you know what I didn't realize? Munce's cane was common. I thought that was at least rare. I don't know why, but I just did. <laughs> okay. You know what fun little surprises like that right fun little surprises i really want to get hunchback done um that would be great that and uh soul they're two kind of collections i think after this event that i definitely will kind of keep plugging away with and try and get done but the thing is with up i would say up before soul maybe but the thing is is i didn't get the first season pass so these characters came via uh legendary chest right so the whole thing with that is, is they're automatically just that little bit behind um, everything else, but it's it's kind of it's it's fine. Like I don't I don't mind, but I really want to try and get sold on. The thing is, though, is that Joe is gonna take forever. Not only the common tokens, but it's just like his ears, hats, and everything. Like, ugh, the legendary bit. It's just it's it kills me. It really really kills me it's just so ridiculous actually i need zootopia characters going out and stuff like that so this works really well as you guys saw in my weeklies like a little while ago so spreading them out and i don't need really currency right now yeah i see i'm almost at twenty thousand. it'll it'll come very very soon so yeah i think uh that is almost it for my video for today i will share and go through all my levels again on my characters um, so Duchess is a six. She's like good now for the rest of the event being at a six. Uh, the common tokens are going to be the hardest part. Berlioz is going to be a problem when I get him, um, via gems. It's, he's a very, very late to the event. Um, uh, very, very late. Yeah, I've done super well without him though. Like it's amazing, but he is coming in way too late. So his help for anything is going to be like very minimal, but I just, I need to get him in. Um, as well for my happiness and stuff with the season pass. So uh, Marie will probably be leveled up again. She'll need to be a four by the end of it. Um, it's going to take me, you know, at least another day or whatever to to get the tokens that I need for that. Um, and then to lose, I, I think he'll be fine at a four for now, but I think he will have to go to a five. Uh, before the event is over. The thing is, though, is that, like, I'm. it's going to be fighting whether it's going to be Marie or Toulouse first. Basically, it's like 
if uh, I have enough to get enough tokens to level up to lose, I'm going to do that. And then Marie will have to wait. Otherwise, Marie will get the first priority because her tokens are harder to, to get. So um, it's just it's going to be whoever gets the common tokens first, because right now Marie is just like not not ready to be leveled up. So she like, I'm not I'm just not going to wait. I just like if I can eliminate like conflicts and, and drops and stuff like that, like for Thomas O'Malley, like I will do whatever I have to do that way to make it stop because it is it is quite painful there. Um, one thing I actually just thought about uh, with Merlin, though, quick. Oops, I did not want to do that. Um, I wanted to see. I don't think so. Oh, yeah, they are available again. OK, so the Aristocats relics. Um, I did buy buy some already but there is more that I can actually buy now so I'm gonna go ahead and buy another eight so it's gonna cost 2,000 elixirs and why you might ask well the main reason for that is pretty simple enchant attractions <laughs> the thing is it's gonna be a matter of which one they both need 30 but whether or not it's gonna be helpful for the event or not it's still just good to have because if I can enchant those even post event um, you know, hopefully they'll, they'll be helpful or even just a little bit. Um, so it'll just be a matter of who's I probably going to go for O'Malley's pad because then I get the chance of get like having the bow tie drop, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Hopefully everybody enjoyed it. If you guys haven't given it a thumbs yet up yet, please do before the video ends. Also, if you guys are new, make sure you guys subscribe and turn on that notification bell. Good luck to everybody who is still working on unlocking Thomas O'Malley. I guess I'm in that group too, um, at least for probably another day. And then after that, I should be... Home free. I don't know how many more quests I have left before him, but I should be good uh, to start collecting for him straight away. So good luck to everybody, and uh, I look forward to hearing and reading about your progress in the comments section below. Bye!